All right, guys. For any of you out there who are playing Blitz, um, I want to do a video on uh, timing in Blitz. I think it's kind of important. Um, so we've, we've already got a kind of interesting opening with the Black Maldima Gambit. Okay, this is what I play against the Scandinavian. And um, okay, we're going full on Rider Gambit. Now, I know what I'm doing here. I've deliberately hung that pawn. This is the Rider Gambit. Okay. So what I wanted was for the Queen to take there now. Okay, so I'm reading the board. And this is important. 4 minutes 30. Okay, so whatever time format you're using. Okay, my opponent's now dropped a rook. Um, I, I've also got this, but then queen comes back and we just trade queens. Now, is first of all, is the king safe? You've always got time to check that. Okay, I'm not worried about this idea. My opponent's already messed up. I think. Um, I'd love to play my bishop there, but I can't actually castle that way because of this bishop. So very, very important to use your use your clock. This knight is iced, it's pinned, can't move. So what on earth are you going to do? Okay, I feel like developing my knight and attacking the queen. Yes. So can you can you see there? So I've got four minutes, four seconds, right? Really important. Whatever time format you're you're playing roughly aim to use about a third for each section of the game. Okay. My queen is defending this pawn, so I, I also have queen here. Okay. You can see I'm lining up possible ideas right now. I'd love to play that and get into there, but it's not doable. Okay, bishop here, getting ready for long castles, then preparing a discovered attack on the queen. Okay. This pawn is now protected by the bishop. I think that's the purpose of that move. Okay, now there's a potential discovery here. Um, I would love to move this bishop and do some damage with the bishop. There's nothing on right now, so I might just keep that one in my pocket. And I'm thinking about queen back to here. I'm up a rook for a pawn, I think, right now. So I think getting the queen out, and, and again, you've got time. All right. If you're losing blitz games with four minutes, three minutes still on the clock, then that's simply dumb. Um, idea of bishop d3 and a mating threat. Okay. Right. Take your time. You you have time. If you are playing five minute blitz, use five minutes. If you're playing three minute, okay. What my opponent failed to do there was go through the first two rules of the checklist okay and they've they've gone for a, a challenge all right so is that the same player i don't know okay but it's again it's a five minute blitz right so french defense here i know what i'm doing i play this all the time okay boring 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 exchange variation okay and then we end up with a symmetrical structure all right so um don't think i th I think I can afford to pin that now, because this bishop hasn't moved, um, which means I get to castle first. Uh, I can block with my bishop. Yes. Then here, maybe even rook then to e8. Okay. Now. If I was to play this and sack my bishop, it's not really good because it, white can block the queen and king with that. So I'm just going to retreat now. Looking to get my bishop onto this diagonal because that, I think, is where the king is headed. So we're thinking ahead. I've got this idea as well. Um, okay, he's really interested in my bishop. So that's fine. Now, let me just develop then. Or knight here. Knight here means I can recapture with the knight. Knight can then proceed to that square, which looks like it makes sense. Okay, well, let's stick the knight in there now. It means I'm threatening this bishop. It's defended three times. Okay, four minutes. And I'm already castled and I've practically completed development. So 
I have um, I've made good progress so far. I have a nice square there for my knight. I have bishop here. Yes, now. Now, the bishop has pinned the knight. The knight is one of only two pieces now that can block there. So I'd like to throw this in and just make him think a little bit. Okay. Now, bishop's blocked. So now if I capture the bishop with, with my knight, it's going to be pawn recaptures. Um, but I have time to think, right? 3 minutes 23, that's all the time in the world. You can do a lot in 3 minutes. I also have knights in here attacking this undefended pawn. But if I do that, it gives white time to castle. And I don't want to give white time to castle. So I can do that, and now I can bring my knight in. Oh, he might still cut. Ooh, I'm not convinced about that idea. Because look at now, I have knight takes here, right? Before you make a move, right? What what changes if I if I push this pawn? It, he's not just attacking the bishop, right? So I could even trade the bishop off and then go in for the fork. Uh, or is queen going to take? If I go there, queen takes. Mm. Okay, so, but if I go do the fork first, queen moves, I grab the rook, he can capture one of my pieces. Um, if I move the bishop, he's got time to get out of the fork, so I think I'm not going to spend too long. This pawn is pinned. Um, but yeah, so often you get the situation where You've got one player who seems to be um, doing well. On, uh, I'm just going to trade off my bishop now. I'm not going to think too hard about this. Okay, let's line up the queen and the rook against the king and that pawn. Um, okay, this is now not on. Two attackers, two defenders. Doesn't work. Uh, let's defend this pawn. May as well. Okay, so we'll do, this here's a perfect example, right, of bad blitz management. This dude has got just under four minutes left on the clock and he's managed to get himself into a losing position right and that's just time management okay notice that this pawn is attacked twice so the king and the queen are tied to the defense of this pawn right now this bishop is now bad let you see I've got six pawns on light squares okay now he can't come here because it's co covered by a pawn if he comes here don't see much point. Also gives me time to. I've got this as well, actually. Let's attack this loose pawn. That's undefended. That's undefended. That's defended only by the bishop right now. Right, get into the habit of quick hedgehog. Hedgehog? Goldfish. Hedgehog's a defensive setup. Don't get into the habit of that. Okay, so now he's pushed his pawn. That's now a pawn that can't guard. A light square. Okay, um, I've got all the time in the world to wriggle my rook round now, because I'm in a winning position. Oh, okay. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Didn't spot that one. Failed to spot that one. Okay, so now if he takes, he's going to have pawn takes. So let's get the king out of harm's way, and now the bishop is under attack. Oh, he's got three pieces on there. <sighs> I've got three defenders, though. That's okay. All right, how about here and propose a trade of queens? I'm up in material. Ooh, damn! We should take on... That's okay. Just notice that my queen's actually skewered on the rook. Okay, now. So carry on with the plan. First of all, checking for danger. I'm down to a minute. That's fine. That's where you should be at this point in time. Just got to convert the win now. Okay. Um, can I push out of trouble there? Or do I just go for this? Pawn takes. Yeah. Pawn takes. I'm going to stick my king on g7 and use the pawn as a human shield. Not sure he's got time for this now because I'm going to come in, trade off queens. 
and there's nothing defending this pawn. So that's my idea. Okay, right, let's uh, grab the free pawn then. Oh, he's got rook here now. Bugger. Um, okay, now I have to trade off. Okay, now, um, rook takes. Da, 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 I've got more pawns. Now my advantage is this, so I'm, I'm going to have a look at that. I could have also done this. Okay, so now I'm going to bank on the fact that I've got better pawns than my opponent. He's going to bank on the fact he's got two minutes left on the stupid clock. Ah! That was just a blunder on my part, wasn't it? Okay, don't be losing that way. Okay, he's, he's going to have me now. He's going to have me. Right, I have to make use of my king. No, it's all, all over. So just a case of not following your own advice, really. I've got 10 seconds left, I'll just resign there. Okay, let's see if he wants to do another one. One for the road. Nope. All right, so there you go. You know, it cuts both ways, guys. That's Blitz. And that's why I don't really recommend playing it, quite honestly. You know, I I was, I was got myself a winning position, and then, of course, I came off the gas a little bit, stopped checking for danger, and decided to grab a free pawn, yeah, without doing the danger check. You know, just silly, silly move. But there you go, you know, if the more you play this kind of blitz, you you know, don't practice blundering, for goodness sake. You know, that's not going to make you better at chess. Um, you've to, to get better at chess, you've got to practice not making the mistakes that you make today. Simple as that. Okay, so, you know, my rapid ratings, like my blitz ratings, 1250, right? My rapid ratings around 1450. Um, I, you know, yes, you can use Blitz for uh, drilling your openings, and you know you can, to a degree, um, kind of improve your ability to spot tactics and spot dangers and stuff like that a bit quicker. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but um, bottom line is you'll you, you'll do better. I think you will improve more by playing one thirty minute rapid game and take an hour doing that and spending an hour playing blitz okay there you go so that's why not to play blitz okay thanks for watching and see you later